What's happening guys? Welcome back to the first video here of 2021 and it just so happens that we've got a quick tip Tuesday today. So hope everybody had a great uh, December, a good holiday, a Merry Christmas, whatever it is you might celebrate. Hope everybody had a great time and uh, a good New Year's. But now it's time to get back into it here. It feels good to be in the studio. Haven't been down here filming for a little while. Had some things uh, kind of filmed and in the bag for a while for the last few weeks. So it feels good to be down here chatting with you again. So today, Quick Tip Tuesday, what are we talking about? We're talking about how you can create sub clips. So let's say you've got one long video and uh, you know, you need a couple different parts of that video. Well, let's jump into Resolve and I'm gonna show you how you can save those sub clips into your media pool. So then you can just drag them and drop them in your timeline. It really helps instead of having to do in points, out points, drag the clip down, in points, out points, drag the clip down. So let's go on over to DaVinci Resolve and check that out. All right, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I've got a random clip up in my media pool here. It's uh, for a video that's gonna be coming out, uh, I don't know, in the next couple weeks. So let's say that in here, if I just scroll through, you can see eh, I got a bunch of different things going on there. And let's say I want multiple clips that I want to use out of here. So you've got different ways you can do it. Obviously, you can drag it and drop it in your timeline and go ahead and, you know, chop it up however you want and get rid of parts. You can do that. But let's say maybe you're going to want to use different clips throughout your video. You can make sub clips, which are just little snippets of your overall clip. So you got a few ways that you can make the sub clips. So in our viewer here, make sure you got your two viewers up. If you don't, come and click on this icon right here. And for this first technique, you don't even need to bring your clip into your media pool. You can actually just come here. You can scrub around. Let's say I want to endpoint, so I'm going to press I. And right about there, I want to stop. I'm going to press O. Now I can just click on my clip, and instead of dragging it to the timeline, I'm actually just going to drag it back into the media pool here, and you're going to see it creates a sub-clip for me. If I double-click on it here, you see it shows me just you the part that so I selected with those in points and out points. So if I go back to my main clip, let's say I want a different point, let's say you know from here to uh, right about there, I'm going to head out. I can just, again, click and drag it over into my media pool. And this is great because if you need multiple clips, from your overall shot, but you're not gonna use them in order in your video when you're editing. You just wanna have those clips ready to go. This is one way that you can add sub clips right into your media pool. It makes it super easy and super quick to then take these guys, drag and drop them in your timeline when you need them. So that's method number one. Now the next method you can do is if you already have your clip in your timeline. So let's check that out. So let's just grab my overall clip here. I'm gonna drop it in my timeline. And let's say I came in and I just cut it here and moved ahead a little bit and there. And let's say I have this clip and, you know, I'm going to want to use it later, but I don't want to use it now. I don't want to just delete it and then have to select in and out points again to use just this part. So what I can do is just select my clip here after I've made my cuts on either side and drag it back into the media pool. Let go. So you can see once I did that, it actually put the whole file up here again, but it's got my in points and out points. So that's another method that you can do it. Although I kind of think the sub clip method works a little bit better if you're going to want to use just that clip later on in your video. I don't know. It's up to you. See what works best for you. So there you go. That is sub clips here in DaVinci Resolve. It's easy to create them and uh, hey, it may come in handy later. So hope you found this tip helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in a lot more videos here in 2021. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.